Learning the long and short of it. Mastering English vowel sounds. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our comprehensive English language learning series. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of English pronunciation, focusing on a crucial component of our language, vowels. More specifically, we'll uncover the mysteries of long and short vowel sounds. So, strap in and prepare to master these vital elements of spoken English. Vowels are indeed the soul of pronunciation. They are the soft, fluid sounds that give words their expressiveness. In English, we have five letters that are vowels. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, when it sounds like a vowel. Each of these vowels has a long sound and a short sound. But don't be fooled by their names. It's not about how long you say the sound. Rather, long and short refer to the type of sound the vowel makes. Let's explore them in more detail. Long vowel sounds occur when the vowel says its name. They are often heard when a single vowel appears at the end of a word or syllable or when there is a single vowel followed by a silent E. Here are examples for each vowel. Long A as in gate or play. Long E as in tree or theme. Long I as in like or time. Long O as in home or boat. Long U as in cute or music. Remember, each vowel can be long if it wants to say its name. Contrary to long vowels, short vowel sounds occur when the vowel does not say its name. They are typically found in the middle of words, particularly when surrounded by consonants. Here are examples for each vowel. Short A as in cat or apple. Short E as in bed or pen. Short I as in sit or pian. Short O as in dog or hop. Short U as in mud or pup. Mastering the distinction between long and short vowel sounds is an essential step towards improving your English pronunciation. It may seem tricky at first, but with practice, you'll be able to distinguish and produce these sounds effortlessly. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, continue exercising these sounds, listen to a lot of spoken English, and soon you will notice a significant improvement. Thank you for joining us in today's lesson. We hope you found it helpful and enlightening. Keep exploring, keep learning, and we'll see you in our next video where we'll continue our exciting journey into the world of English. Until then, happy learning!